points. Tonight he became the youngest starter in the history of the NBA Finals. They're playing man-to-man -man on this possession. Rondo drives, this time tries to finish and gets fouled by Robinson. And Rajon Rondo once again having a real impact. Coming up on the Oculus Halftime with Maria, Jalen, Jay, and Paul Pierce. We'll talk NBA, but also talk WNBA. Sue Bird's historic night. Rondo with that last beautiful assist. It's tied Steve Nash for seventh all-time playoff assists. Just a, a brilliant basketball mind. Knows the game inside out. Sometimes doesn't work for his benefit, but he's aware of every situation on the floor that makes everybody around him better because of him. This is his 14th year in the NBA. Has a championship ring with the Celtics. Walks home with the Lakers. Butler drives, can't finish. Anthony Davis presence once again. Rondo looking, Rondo driving, Rondo finishing. Rajon Rondo, big plays here in the second quarter. And the lead is up to 17. Duncan Robinson. And the Heat needed that one. He needed that one. That's his first field goal of the finals. Rondo up top. Caldwell Pope to James. on James and an offensive foul is going to be called on Anthony Davis his second personal you see how Rondo affects the game pushes the ball in transition utilizes the angles that you give him defensively and gets to his spot becomes either a playmaker or in this situation a scorer okay that's a great move that is awful defense in transition, they pick the ball up, a hero did, at the free throw line. And then standing straight up and down, he made no effort to contain the ball. I mean, this is, I mean, he's a better competitor than that. 100% agree with you. First half winding down. Robinson can't get it. Marquise Morris, Lakers will hold it for the final shot. Heat without a foul to give here. LeBron James, final seconds. Takes a long three. And that will end the first half. The Lakers set a finals record for most threes and a half. They put 27 of them up.